Hi, I'm Michaela Johnson. Uh, my name is Aaron Chaudier. I'm a uh, bicycle mechanic here at uh, Bicycle Centers in Everett, Washington. I do a little bit of everything here. Work on bikes, sell bikes, build bikes, um, research bikes, um, and also everybody here rides bikes. So I do a little bit of mountain biking, road biking, and uh, bike touring. Yeah, my dad uh, got into riding e-bikes probably about eight years ago. Um, and he was riding a what they call a bionics kit which is basically a retrofit kit that you can put on any bicycle um, used that for you know up until maybe five months ago um, and uh, there was always something not quite right with it um, we started carrying the e-bikes here he came in and tested one out and the next week he came in and bought one because just kind of having a f encompassed system where everything is supposed to work together um, just works that much better and he's loved it ever since so he rides it every single day to work. I have about 10 miles each way. Um, he's a software engineer over at Fluke so um, there's a few other people there that bike to work. And what about your experience with e uh, my experience is uh, just on the kind of servicing and building side of things. Um, not super familiar with, you know, using them for long periods of time, but I get most of that feedback from my dad. Uh, but I'm very familiar with putting them together and uh, kind of getting everything dialed in just like on a regular bike. And that's the nice thing about them is they're uh, getting to the point where less of the parts are uh, kind of proprietary. So there's a lot of bike parts, things that we can replace and work on here. So what's the difference between this and like a real bike? Like it just looks like a bike with a little thing in a screen. Mm -hmm. like. um, essentially that's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a regular bicycle with gears and brakes on it and everything. Um, but what they've done is they've added uh, a battery here. So a lithium battery and then that big hub in the back is actually an internal motor which provides assist so the bike uh, actually kind of senses when you start pedaling and then it'll start helping you which is kind of a hard thing to describe until you've sat on one and ridden one um, and there's various levels of assist so it has everything from a throttle that'll pull you up to about 15 miles an hour um, and then after that it's however fast you can pedal it'll take you going that fast um, there's actually a hill over there where one of us hit about 38 miles an hour, so, and then I had to stop because there was no helmets involved. So. My name is Michaela. I'm the sales manager at Seattle eBike. So, there is a lot of bikes out there, and we are more than happy to electrify most of the bikes. There is definitely a few exceptions, however. We really want to work with a, a bike that um, has a little bit higher quality, uh, just because we want it to be as long-lasting as possible. When you put um, about 20 to 25 extra pounds of weight, um, which is what the motor and the battery consists of, uh, you're dealing um, not only with extra weight, um, but um, higher speeds, and therefore um, you want components to accommodate that. So we do like to work with uh, a lot of you know higher quality mountain bikes or some you know great quality you know road bikes uh, or leisure bikes even uh, for for you know sustainability. Okay, my bad. I'm probably <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's my. Hey, dude. Exactly, a little bit to the right. 